Hello, welcome back. This video will get into setting up your laptop or your two channel audio interface to monitor an Atmos mix. I did it on a laptop with a, a Focusrite 4i4 interface, but it could be any interface that you want, or it could be even just the headphone jack on your laptop. I'm using Pro Tools. 2024.10.2 and its internal Dolby Atmos renderer. So check this out. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to go through the process of setting up um, an Atmos session, just the configuration portion of it. And I want to be able to monitor this Atmos mix in headphones through my Focusrite. 4i4, just stereo headphones, but I'm, of course I'm going to be listening to the binaural mix coming from the Pro Tools internal Atmos render. So I've started with just a session that's configured for regular stereo output, and I wanted to go through the process of just sw switching that over to Atmos so that you can follow through with that. And I'm looking at the I.O. setup window. The input, it sees the uh, Scarlett 4i4 and uh, the output that looks all normal for a, a stereo session bus tab etc so how do i convert this over well first thing i would do and i can see that it's already set up properly but i would check the playback engine and make sure that it is set to scarlet 4i4 which it is and then i'll go to um the setup window i'm sorry the io setup window in pro tools and I'm going to start with the Dolby Atmos tab first and then kind of work my way backwards. But uh, um, let's get rid of everything here. I'm going to get rid of all this. Delete paths. Um, I don't need any inputs. I'm going to delete all that. And I'm option clicking on the paths to select them all and then hitting delete delete path. All right, so I have nothing in any of the input output bus or Dolby Atmos tabs. So I'm going to first enable the renderer in the Dolby Atmos tab of the Pro Tools IO setup window. And it's telling me a valid monitor path must, must be assigned. And we will take care of that in one second. So I'm going to click OK. And let me hit default in there. And it gives me a, a bed of 10 channels, 1 through 10, and then objects 11 through 128. That looks all good. Bus tab and output are still um, blank. I'm going to go to the output tab and hit default. And it gives me the four output channels of the Focusrite 4i4. That's all good. And it should have done the same thing in the bus tab as well. And it did. Now, in the bus tab, I could create more buses if I wanted to for internal routing within Pro Tools, submixing or effect sends, all that stuff. And as I go through this session, I, I, I will create those. But for now, I'm just going to leave those two there. So these outputs are mapped. Uh, these paths are mapped to outputs one and two and three and four that's all good inputs i'm not really concerned with at this point i'm not recording into the session so i'm just going to leave that blank or uh, you know what let me do i'll hit default there it is okay so everything looks good dolby atmos all right so the uh dialogue i got a minute ago was telling me that i needed to route an, an output for monitoring so that's a uh, monitor path output one and two. That's what I want. So I should hear that in headphones on my um, Focusrite 4i4. And one other thing I want to do is go to the window menu in Pro Tools, go to Dolby Atmos Renderer. There it is. And I want to make sure that I'm monitoring the binaural as opposed to the 2.0. So 2.0 is like a, a stereo down mix, a full down to stereo, I'm, uh, which it will sound good in headphones too, and you want to hear that. But I want to hear the binaural version so it really you know, reproduces that spatial uh, imaging thing that I want. So I'm going to go to binaural there. I'll click on the little gear here. You can see the same option there, binaural, and I get to the IO setup window where I just was. I don't need to do that. Okay, so how do I test this now? All right, so I've got an audio track in the session, and I'm gonna put a signal generator in here just so I can have some sort of, you know, you could put an audio file on the track, whatever you want, signal generator, and I'm going to make it pink noise as opposed to 1K tone. And right now, I don't have an output or an object assigned for this track. So if you don't see the I.O. and or the object column visible here, go up to the edit window. 
I'm sorry, view window, edit window, and make sure that IO and object are checked so that you can see those columns. And uh, I'm gonna try an object first. So I'm gonna click on no object and I'm gonna assign the first available one, which is number 11. And I'll switch it to object. And as soon as an output or an object in this case is assigned to the track, I'll see the meter on the track. And I'm looking at the Dolby Atmos render window inside Pro Tools and I see metering activity on number 11. If I mute that channel, of course that goes away. So this is telling me that my routing into the internal render inside Pro Tools is good. And also I see the little green dot over here in the, the empty room. So let me bring up the panner the object panner and as I move that puck around within the space there I can see it follow in the render so that's good now let's go to headphones let me see if I hear it and as I pan it around the room I I hear it following that let me go up height and back down yeah okay so that sounds good all right so let's just recap um i'm gonna mute that so um in this case i'm using a Focusrite 4i4 this will work with any audio interface you want to use i'll go to playback engine and make sure that that uh, audio interface is selected in this case it's the scarlet 4i4 that's good and i'll go to the pro tools setup menu io setup and the Dolby Atmos tab should have the internal render enabled. The little check mark is enabled. And if you don't see all of the bed and the objects there, hit the uh, default button. So it will populate that whole window. We've got um, one 10 channel bed and then 118, 11 all the way through 128 objects. So that's good. The output sec uh, tab shows me the four physical outputs of the Focusrite 4i4, that's perfect. And also the monitor path, output one and two is set, and that's how I'm gonna be hearing all of this. And then the bus reflects the output tab. And again, I may have, um, I likely will have more buses added as internal buses of the session and uh, you can use those as you normally would in a Pro Tools session. So that's it. Hopefully that's helpful. So get to Atmosin.